Good evening. I'm going to be reading from the Bible. Um, I'm honored to be reading from the Bible. And um, I'm going to first start off by saying I believe that the Bible had been banned because it's got a lot of juicy stories in it. The, the Bible is kind of like um, the best soap opera I've ever read. Okay? I mean, there's some real dysfunctional families in the Bible. Some really crazy stuff, and God was like the Godfather in a lot of situations. You know, and, uh, and I'm not saying that to in any way depict him as anything wrong, but just the thing is that we want God to kind of be a punk sometimes, you know. That, you know, he's, he's just like a really good guy and you can slap him upside the head and it's okay and he's just gonna forgive you, but you know, there's consequences for behavior. And uh, I'm gonna be reading from Ecclesiastics, but I wanna give you a little bit of a, a, a history before I take you there, it's like taking you on a trip and not giving you any information. Solomon was the son of uh, David and uh, one of the wisest men that there were. And when he prayed to God, uh, when he got anointed, because one of the brothers, like I said, they were dysfunctional. One of the brothers was trying to like steal the kingdom out from underneath of him. And um, so he prayed to God because he was afraid. He was afraid of the responsibility that was about to be, that was put on him when he became um, the king. So he said, because you have, uh, he had prayed to God and he said, give therefore your servant an understanding heart to judge your people, that I may discern between good and bad. For who is able to judge this, your so great of people? And the speech pleased the, the Lord that Solomon had asked this thing, and God said to him, because you have asked this thing, and have not asked for yourself long life, neither have asked riches of yourself, nor have asked the life of your enemy, but have asked for yourself understanding to discern judgment. Behold, I have done according in your words, though I have given you a wise and an understanding heart, so that there are none like you before you, and neither after you shall any arise like to you. And I have also given you that which you have not asked, both riches and honor, so that there shall not be any among the kings like to you all your days. And if you shall walk in my ways to keep my statutes and my commandments as your father David did walk, then I will lengthen your days. Now, during that time, kings married into other kingdoms in order to keep peace and things like that in order to be able to spread their wealth. And so he, you know, started to honor other gods and things like that, which angered God, and so they had problems. But um, then as he started to get closer to the end of his life, he started to have a wake-up call. And that's what uh, Ecclesiastics is about. I think people have trouble with the Bible because the Bible doesn't imitate life, it is life. You know, it's, it's all done with words. You know, um, life and death is in the power of the tongue. We can speak life on somebody or we can speak death on somebody. You know, we can light a fire or we can put it out. You know, we, we, we can start a riot or we can stop one. We can give love or we can take it away. And that's what Ecclesiastics is talking about. Ecclesiastics is actually life. Not imitating life, but it's about life. It's about light and darkness. It's about light and shade. It's about death and life. And, and um, I, I think that one of the reasons that they kind of banned it is because it talked too, it was too close. It was too close to look at. It was uh, sometimes what, what gives us too much light, we want to run into the dark. And so I'm going to read a few of the uh, excerpts that I have here. And I have big um, print. I'm running out. I got one minute, right? Okay. So it's going to be a fast minute. Okay. Uh, vanities of vanities, says the preacher. Vanities of vanities. All is vanity. The thing that has been, it is that which shall be. And that which is done, it is that shall have been done and there is no thing under the sun. Ow. <laughs> What's that say? Time out. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, at least I got that part in. Thank you. 